Yo, what's up guys? It's Alejandro Wadon in Auto 10A, and I'm gonna be changing the drive shaft carrier bearing, the U-joints, and I'm also gonna be draining my differential and replacing the seals on the output shaft of the transmission and the differential pinion. These are the parts that I got. Got some, I got three U-joints because it's a two-piece drive shaft. Here's the carrier bearing. This is the transmission seal and this is the differential pinion seal. The U-joints recommend a NLGI2 grease. So I got some white lithium grease and I'll also be using this to install the seals so that I don't pinch the outsides. The things I'll be needing is a marker to mark off the direction of the spline when I take out the differential pinion spine so that I don't insert it in the wrong orientation and misbalance the drive shaft. So my differential calls for GL5 ADW90 gear oil. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. So the reason that I need to do this is because when I let off of the gas in my truck and the drivetrain goes under load, this wobbles around and feels mighty rickety. And my U-joints are also shot out. Don't think they've been greased ever. And the cups are all you can see in there these cups are all worn out so it wouldn't hurt to take those while i'm taking the drive shaft out uh what else i'll be doing is my transmission output shaft seal has been leaking so it's not gonna hurt to do that and my differential pinion seal looks good but or bracket four the carrier bearing is held in by two 17 millimeter bolts on each side of it so I'm gonna try to get in there with the little stubby impact wrench and see if I can't get it off. Oh. So this little guy is not gonna fit up in there. So I'm gonna have to end up getting the half inch ratchet or the breaker bar and breaking both these bolts and removing them. So 17 millimeter oh, and a breaker bar in there. You'll be able to get both of these bolts off. And this little top piece just pops right off. Now it's free. So I'll be able to take off these two bolts right here. Or these four bolts right here. Take off these four bolts right here. And I'll be able to slide that piece out. So for these four bolts and these right here, I was able to get those out with the little impact and a wobble socket. But for these back ones, these got to be done with the open end wrench for sure. So once you get those four bolts off, this piece just pops right out. The alignment of the drive shaft at the front, the middle, and the rear before we so pull it all out. I got the drive shaft out and in two pieces. And you can see this bearing's all shot out. Rubber parts tore away from the outside. And I'm gonna have to pop these snap rings out on both sides. And then I'll show you how to do that. Pop those out after. So for this, it's going to be best to put your foot up on top of it, put a two by four under there. Hold that puppy still. Uh, noise. Get that puppy out. Hopefully slide these pieces apart. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need a pry bar for that. It's all right, I'll get started on this. So far, I got the OG gear puller hooked up. I'm about to pull this yoke off. And I got some WD-40 sitting in there. That's why I haven't done it yet. It's real stuck on there. And over here, I popped all four snap rings out and I got them all right here. And I've been told to make sure to keep these old ones in case the new ones aren't pre-gapped so that I don't mess up the uh, preload on my U-joint. So it took us about 30, 20 minutes, but we got the yoke off of the spline. Right now we're taking off the bearing. We're gonna use the same gear puller. So taking this yoke off of those splines took about 25 minutes. They were hella rusted on there. 
We're getting the gear puller back on to pop off this bearing, put on this new one. So we got this old bearing off with some serious loving. <laughs> and uh, these teeth are looking pretty, some of them are looking pretty beat up, not that bad. But uh, I'll come, I'm gonna come in here with the triangle file, clean up all these teeth, clean up this bearing surface, just clean it all out in general before I install that new bearing on there. So I got um, got the transmission seal out and replaced it. I didn't get that on video because I had to do it real quick because it was leaking out. But I used one of these seal pullers, popped right on out. So I decided against um, doing the differential pinion seal just because my differential pinion isn't even leaking and it'd be a whole bunch of extra work. So I'm just gonna change out the diff loot after we get it done. Getting all these teeth cleaned out on the splines of the drive shaft itself and on the inside of the yoke. All right, so I'm working on getting these U-joints popped out. The way we're doing it is with big socket on the bottom, line it up, and then take a smaller, we're using an extension because it's about the right size. Hit it with the sledge, pop it both ways and pull the cap off on one side. And when you're done, slide it back to the other. Okay, so I got one of these U-joints fit in, and the problem that we're having right now is the newer U-joint clip uh, snap rings are too thick. And so I heard some recommendations on the forums, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna file these down about five thousandths of an inch on each side, and hopefully that'll give me enough room so where my caps don't have too much preload on the needle bearings, and they'll spin freely. Because right now it moves, but that's too damn stiff. It's not supposed to be like that. So from my experience, I would definitely recommend buying a nicer brand U-joint that comes with multiple size snap rings because if your snap rings don't fit right, then you're gonna be stuck here like me, filing these down, trying to get it to fit right. Okay, so I got these U-joints pressed in, no resistance on them, this side either. And this side took a little more uh, work on these snap rings, filing them down. I would suggest for anybody else trying to do U-joints to get the more expensive brand. They come with more size snap rings so that you can set the preload properly without having to file and, you know, mess with it a whole bunch. <laughs> so I've had to file about every last one of these snap rings down. And right now I got these U-joints set in exactly where they're supposed to be. For it to move nice and free side to side i'm just having difficulty getting this last one so i've had to file about every last one of these snap rings down popping the last two on this side and then i'll put this bracket on the part that goes into the differential and then we'll be ready to We got the front half in. Right now we got the back half. We're about to screw the U-joints into there. After we get this back piece hooked up into that plate right there. Only thing we have to bolt down is the carrier bearing. And we're going to have to fight and final tighten all of these. And then we'll be ready to test her. So I just finished up getting everything finished torqued down there. I also topped off the transmission a little bit because a little bit of fluid leaked out when I replaced that seal. But I'm ready to test drive now and see how it's working.